Good morning. Happy Thursday morning. This is the day that Yah has made, and we shall rejoice and be greatly glad in it. I want to share with you this morning our meditation time. We are up on the last days. I see a lot of things that God is doing for his people, which are absolutely amazing. I'm so thankful to be part of the body of Christ. I'm thankful for the anointing. I'm thankful for family. I'm thankful for friends, old friends, new friends, friends to come. I'm thankful this morning. I'm thankful for a night's rest. I'm thankful for the uh, night vision that God gives some of us. I just really understood what was spoken to me some uh, time ago. One of the producers of a program and I had a conversation. And he said a surgeon never does anything but come in, do surgery, and leave the room. That's powerful. And when he comes in to do surgery and he knows exactly what he's going to do as this surgery will heal and he comes out, he doesn't hold anybody's hand. We have nurses for that. He doesn't take the vitals. We have nurses for that. But the glory of the Lord comes in, anoints his hands, and he stands in the stead for the Christ. And so I want to share this morning about the instinct and the spirit. We were born for such a time as this. For the Lamb of God is in our midst. Amen. The Lamb of God is in our midst. So as we're going through the prophets and the messages of the prophet, there's one thing I want to call to your attention. In that higher part of its spirituality, its freedom, the soul can rise above and shape and rule the bodily elements. Do you hear what the healings are coming from? When we are thinking about praying and laying hands on one another in terms of contact, making a contact, some of us think of it as transferring spirits. But let me say this to you. It cannot simply isolate itself and remain aloof from the aggregation of their bodily counterpart. In other words, in order to rule, it must press into the service, the powers of both body and soul. That's true. That is so true. So the same dynamic as when a surgery comes into the room. Fundamentally, it is correct to define the relations between instinctive tendency, sensuality, and spirit in a well-known critical formula, human instinct, as uh, comprising all of the body soul drives and the impulses but it cannot be divorced from the spirit and view as a whole as in itself without direction but the spirit on its part where it divorced from instinct is weak and powerless we know that all activity of man action as well as neglect of action this is where sometimes we do ourselves a great harm because his genuine love as well as his worst excesses are linked with instinctive forces of passion. Now we want people to love us. That's one of the greatest needs that we have always uh, put first. But my thing 
has happened in a different way. My greatest need is to belong to Christ. Will you join me today? Amen, amen. What a beautiful song. Face to Face Radio Talk by way of Amazing Grace Outreach Ministry. And guess what? You're tuned in to the Fig Tree Generation Blossoms 5783. 